identifying number patterns hey kids today we will learn about identifying rules by looking at number patterns and to continue the pattern further let's see what muni is doing today she is decorating some number blocks can you tell which number should be placed now and up to how many times children you can pause the video to think about it Let's see what number is used by Munni. Munni has used 5 for 5 times. Have you thought the same too? It is a pattern of numbers. Can you tell me what is the rule of this pattern? Children, you can pause the video and think about it. Yes, each digit is placed according to its number. 1 for 1 time. Two for two times and three for three times, and this is how this pattern has been carried forward. Come, kids, let's look at some more examples of number pattern. Come, let's go to the street of Munni's locality. Look carefully at each house number. Can you find out a pattern in this house numbers? Children, you can pause the video and think about it. Yes, the numbers on the houses on the left side are all odd numbers, and the numbers on the houses on the right side are all even numbers. There is a difference of two between even and odd numbers, and there is a difference of two between the numbers of these houses too. If we look at odd numbers, six hundred three minus six hundred one equals two. Similarly, in even numbers, six hundred four minus six hundred two equals two. So you saw how we can see different patterns in numbers. Look what Munni is making. It seems today she is making a paper flower. She applied five petals in the first round of the flower, then nine, then thirteen. Can you tell how many petals Munni will put in the next round? Children, you can pause the video to find out the number. First five, then nine, then thirteen. These numbers have a difference of four. So the next number will be thirteen plus four, that is seventeen. This means Muni will put seventeen petals in the next round. Look, Muni has completed the flower. Now let's give Muni some number patterns. Let's check whether she can fill in the blanks properly or not. Here is the first pattern. Children, you can pause the video and find out the numbers. See, Muni has filled the blanks with these numbers. Is this answer correct? Come, let's find out the rule for this pattern. In this pattern, number has come on both sides of the digit for one one time. Then, in case of two, one has appeared on both sides for two times. Then, in the next, one has appeared on both sides for three times. Similarly, as we move forward, one will appear on both sides of the number for four times. Munni had made some mistake. Right answer is this. Now, let's look at the next pattern. Munni has written this. Is it right? Come, let's find out the rule of this pattern first. You can see that the numerator of each fraction is same, but the denominator is increasing continuously. Like two, three, four, then five, and then six will come. So Munni has given the right answer. So kids, today we have learnt about identifying rules by looking at the number patterns. and to continue the pattern further